The last question comes from Grant. My mastering workflow involves three to four monitoring plugins that I always move to my second monitor every time. I have to move them over every single time I reopen a session or start a new one. Is there a way for Reaper to remember the default window positions for certain plugins? So the best way to do this is to have those plugins in your monitoring effects chain so they're always available, and then set up a screen set to open them on that second monitor or wherever you want them on the screen in one button press. You can even have this set up so that when you load in your mastering project, it automatically loads that screen set. So I'll show you that. I'll show you all this right now. All right, so back in Reaper, we've got, I'm gonna close that uh, doc and we'll go to the monitoring effects chain. And in here, I have a bunch of plugins. Some of these are for video, some of these are for uh, mastering. So when I'm mastering, I often um, set my levels with a pink noise generator. I'll use Dynameter. I'll use um, VUMT. There it is. And I might use a LUFS meter like this one. The Ulean one is really great, and I just kind of forgot to install it recently. So anyways, you take your plugins, let's say Vumped Deluxe, put it here, and maybe I'll scale that down to 50%. So I've got that here. I've got Dynameter. I've already set this up to go into the second monitor, but for this video, I need to have it on the first monitor. And I'll take my Frequency Spectrum Analyzer, which I had up there, and shrink this down so, I don't know, maybe it's down here, something like that. So then I will close the monitoring effects chain or any other thing I don't want visible. I probably want my, my uh, mixer visible, but let's take off the sends. I never use sends when I'm mastering, so uh, uncheck show sends when size permits. And now so it's just inserts here. And then I'm going to save a, a screen set. And if you don't know how to get to the screen sets window, it's in the view menu, screen sets and layouts. So we're going to the Windows page. So I've got one set up for mastering already. You can see the, the key to load it and the key to save it. And of course, you can edit the shortcuts in here. I like one, two, three, four, five for my recalling of a screen set and shift one, two, three, four, five for saving a screen set. So I'm just going to do that here with shift three, brings up this window, give it a name, check everything. So tool window positions, that's, that's your plugins. The main window position, that's this window here. Um, Docker selected tab, so having the mixer visible in a dock or not. Mixer flags is having the sends visible or not. Uh, you can also choose where things are focused. I usually keep that off. Sometimes if last focus was the, um, the effects chain, then if you go to type something, then it's gonna start searching. So maybe you want that, maybe you don't. So I could go to preset or screen set one, it looks like this. Screen set two looks like this and screen set three. Oh, see, there you go. Went into the search bar. But here I've loaded screen set three and those plugins are there now. Then let's go into the action list. And so let's say your mastering workflow is on screen set three. We're going to copy the selected command ID. We're going to start up action. And so with SWS extension, there's set project startup action. Double click that and click yes. You paste in the ID of the action you want to run when you start the project and click OK. And then it'll confirm that for you. So now when I load this project, it's going to load these windows in this position. So you just want to save that into your um, project file, your mastering template. Uh, so when you load in that mastering template, before you import any files or anything, these windows will pop up for you. 